Hey guys, so in today's video I wanted to talk about specifically why yoga is important and why I love it so much. This is something that I do probably at least three times a week, so I wanted to, to talk about the benefits of it, the science behind it, and why yoga is important. And overall why you should incorporate yoga into your daily routine. So I would say that for probably all of us, the main thing that we're striving to do in life is to improve our quality of life. Whether that's reducing stress, increasing happiness, or staying fit and healthy. Or there's the other side of things where we're trying to improve our mental health by reducing anxiety, depression, or overall stress. And luckily, yoga does all of these. Yoga is a holistic health practice that helps to target the main cause of our stressors. And we can do this by observing our thoughts from a view of non-judgment and non-attachment. So how can doing these poses and movements make all of this happen? L let me talk a little bit about that. So yoga is a mind-body practice that associates physical physical poses with breathing and relaxation and, and self-reflection. And if you think about it further, mental health issues like anxiety and depression, they are normally a mind-body associ associated thing. Like let's say when you feel anxious, so you normally feel it first with the thoughts in your brain and then it moves over to being a physical thing like you're, you're shaking or you're sweating or you're stuttering or your heart rate rises. So yoga has specific areas that it targets. So let's dive into that. So firstly, as we all probably know, yoga fo focuses on the movement and the poses, also known as asana in yoga terms. And these poses improve posture, flexibility, strength, balance, and focus. And while I was researching this, I discovered that better posture actually contri contributes to a better mood and better confidence. I feel like that makes sense because when we have a straight back and good posture, it's kind of associated with confidence. I feel like it's kind of a subconscious thing that when we straighten our back and stand up tall that we feel more confident. And I thought that that was really interesting to read about. Next, yoga focuses on breathing and breath, also known as pranayama in yoga terms. Practicing conscious breathing really helps to improve stress and improve focus. And when we are breathing with the diaphragm, this improves the lung capacity and slows down the nervous system in a good way. I mean, it just doesn't make us feel as stressed out when we're breathing from our diaphragm. There is this whole science behind it, but that didn't fully make sense to me, so I will leave a link below to the video I watched about that, but I thought it was super interesting that literally just having bigger breaths and breathing from our diaphragm can really impact our physical well-being as well as our mental. And I feel like for me, the breathing aspect of it was the biggest part that helped with my anxiety. And you probably know, but I have a stutter, so my anxiety contributes to the stutter. But I found that breathing and being conscious of the breath really made the anxiety go down, which made the stutter go down, which overall just makes me feel a lot more confident and a lot better. Next, yoga focuses on internal reflection, also known as pratyahara in yoga terms. Reflecting on how our body physically feels and how our mind mentally feels can really contribute to how we view ourselves as a person. If we're able to pinpoint how we feel directly, then we can improve that and we can focus on what's positively affecting us and what's negatively affecting us. Having more self-awareness by doing self-reflection can really contribute to a more positive quality of life overall when we further understand ourselves. Lastly, yoga enhances focus. I feel like when we are holding a very 
strong or tough pose. This is really when, when focus and self-discipline comes into play. And knowing the power that focus can have on us can really help us with controlling what we think about. Um, I learned over the past few years from going to therapy and doing me meditation that being able to focus on what thoughts are contributing to you and what fo what thoughts are not is super important and can really help you to um, see yourself in a better way and overall to just see the world around you in a better way. I thought it was super interesting to read about Oxford University doing a study on yoga and how it affects the human uh, the human life, basically. Um, they found that doing yoga at least once a week can lower stress, reduce blood pressure, and increase better quality of sleep. Now, I know a ton of people that when I say that I do yoga and I do it on a, on a regular basis, that may say, oh, I wish I could, I'm just not flexible enough. But interestingly enough, there are many different types of yoga. And I was super intimidated about going to my first yoga class because I thought it was going to be super intense and that I wouldn't be flexible enough because fun fact when I'm sitting down and I straighten out my, my, my legs I can't actually touch my toes so I thought like if I can't touch my toes then then obviously I can't do these super cr cr crazy flexible yoga poses but surprisingly what they say during a yoga cl class is just to do the best that you can and that's all that you can do and I found that even by doing the best I can even though it's not like the perfect flexibleness <laughs> I still get the benefits to the same amount whether I'm doing it to a small extent or to a large extent it doesn't really matter how flexible you are if you're giving it a chance and doing it with a the breathing then I'm sure that you will notice the benefits now I make these yoga videos because I truly want to share the benefits of it and how it affects me and makes me feel afterwards so if you are somebody who suffers from anxiety or depression or any other struggle, then I would recommend doing yoga so much because it has affected me so much and that's why I'm sharing this with you. So that is all I have for you today. I will leave linked below uh, the videos where I got all this information from. I really hope that you enjoyed this informative type of video. If you would like more like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will be sure to do that for you in the future. I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.